So we're going to look at how to use one of the new features for 1.4, which is fixed rental dates. So this would be useful for things like tours or products where they might not be available every day. So to start off, you'd want to set up your fixed rental dates under Rentals, Fixed Rental Dates. So we're going to click Add New. And we're just going to suppose that this is a tour that we're offering on a monthly basis on certain days of that month. So under the repeat, we'll go ahead and choose monthly. But notice you could have a yearly based one or you could have something that has blocks of time every day. So for that you would choose days a week. But let's choose monthly for this example. And we'll call this a kayak tour. And we'll go ahead and say that this tour is on the 7th of the month and that it starts at 8 a.m. and it ends on the same day at 2 p.m. so we'll use 14. But let's add on another one so this will be for the same product a kayak tour but this one will say we also offer it on the 16th of the month and we'll use the same time so 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So let's save that. Now let's add a product that uses it. Go to catalog manage products is where I went to. Click add product. We'll use reservation for the product type. We'll call this a kayak tour. Let's copy and paste that into the other fields. Keep it enabled and use reservation for the reservation type. Then for the price, we'll go ahead and this would be I believe it was four hours from, I don't know, that would be six hours from eight to two. So we'll use that for our time and make it a $50 and enable it. Now there is one important thing you want to remember, and that is that if your product is using times, um, like from eight to two or something like that, rather than just days, you want to enable times on the rental booking tabs. So that would be here. All right, and then we also want to set it to use fixed times. So let's scroll down and have it set to that. So that would be use fixed rental dates and we'll choose the one that we just made. All right, and then inventory, that would be how many of course you have. So I'll use five and let's just quickly upload an image for that. All right, now we'll set the product category. I already had made a product category of products and I'll go ahead and save it. Okay, so let's check the website and look for it. So we have it here. So we'll notice that this is only available on those dates that we chose every month. So we just have to choose the date and then it will automatically have the time selected. Now you could have different times during the same day. In that case it would show a couple of these and they could select which one. And then you can rent it. 